This is an Aimpoint T2 Micro, and if I had unlimited funds, this would be the optic on all of my guns. However, I have a problem. I'm gun poor. I spend way too much money on guns, leaving very little to spend on other things like shoes, clothes, a haircut, and optics. But I have the most important thing covered, the guns. So I'm always on the lookout for good quality, budget-friendly optics. A little better than eight months ago, I got my first SIG Romeo 5, and I was initially very impressed. The dot was crisp, it looked good, and came with a bunch of promises for a very reasonable price. I don't review a lot of optics because the most important and practical test for me is battery life. I really just want an optic to turn on even if the gun has been sitting in the safe for a year or more and of course hold zero. So even though I know that some of you were seeing pictures on the Alabama Arsenal Instagram account of guns with Romeo red dots on them and wanted a review, I wanted to hold off on a full review until I had some time with it and made sure that the battery life was sufficient. But now I feel like I've had a good amount of time with the Romeo 5 and have been very impressed with it. And all the Romeos have done very well with basic everyday practical use. The Romeo 5 was the first SIG Red Dot that I purchased, but I was so impressed with it that I went on to purchase at least one of every other Romeo model and multiple Romeo 5s. The entire Romeo series has been awesome. The 4 is probably the coolest looking of the bunch, the 7 is rated for unbelievable battery life, and the 3 is nice and compact. While I like all the Romeo series, the 5 in my opinion is the best and that's mainly due to the cost. It's the cheapest of the group. While I don't really like to quote MSRPs in videos because prices change over time, at the time this video is being made, you can roughly buy 4 Romeo 5s for the price of one Aimpoint T2 Micro. When you get any of the new line of SIG optics, the first thing that you'll notice is the packaging. While normally I don't care much about packaging, the SIG Optics packaging is slick and very well put together. Since after 8 months of use and still extremely happy with the Romeo 5, I thought it would be interesting to see how this budget friendly optic fared in a torture test similar to the testing that the much more expensive Aimpoint can so famously hold up to. Before I started the test, I put a dot with some paint on the Romeo 5 and on the mount of the unit I'm going to be using for the testing. This will mark it throughout the test so that no one thinks that I exchanged it at any point with another unit to finish the test. Since the back of the box says that it's waterproof, I thought I would start with a simple splash test. After dumping some water over the Romeo 5, it seems to be working just fine and no sign of fogging on the lenses. Inside the box, you'll notice that you get some great extras that you won't find in the very plain white box that the aim point comes in. You'll get a battery, a lens cleaning cloth, the instructions, a multi-tool, and not one but two mounts. A low mount and a co-witness mount. This is so great because that means no matter what you want to put it on, you're ready to go right out of the box. The 2MOA dot is nice and crisp, and I have astigmatism, so if the dot isn't crisp, it will starburst on me before it would the average person, and I've had no problems with any of the dots in the Romeo series. It also has 10 illumination settings with two settings for night vision compatibility. Right. 
Next, I did a simple submersion test. Just put the Romeo in a cup of water and left it for about an hour. Upon removal, the dot was still working and no fogging or sweating was apparent in the sight. So far, so good. One of the coolest features that is on all the SIG Romeo series is what SIG calls MOTAC, or Motion Activated Illumination. What this does is as the sight detects motion, it powers on for use. If it sits still for a minute, it turns itself off. This extends the battery life to an amazing 40,000 hours. Yes, those are aim point like numbers. On top of that, it's very nice to just pick up your rifle and be able to start shooting and not have to worry about making sure that your red dot is on. So next up on the torture test was freezing. This not only tests the electronics at freezing temperatures, but also applies a little bit of pressure to the entire unit, and that, along with the temperature changes, can cause issues. I took the Romeo 5 and put it in the freezer overnight, and in the morning it was a solid block of ice. All right, this is our Sig Sauer Romeo 5. Uh, had it in the freezer overnight, just pulled it out. First thing this morning. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to see this or not. Try to get it. I don't know if you can see it on camera or not, but the, the projector is still projecting the red dot. Uh, so that means it's still working. We'll uh, let this thing thaw out a little bit, get out to the range, test it out, make sure to see if it's still zeroed. I let the ice melt and headed to the range to see after these initial tests if the dot still held zero. The controls on the Romeo 5 are simple and intuitive. You have your light intensity buttons on the top with an elevation turret and a windage turret on the side. The adjustments are half MOA. I like how the caps for the turrets can be used to make the adjustments and are labeled on the inside for this use. All my Romeo 5s have been very quick and easy to zero. We got to the range with the now thawed out Romeo 5 after the ice and water tests and shot at my X-Steel targets to test zero. Looks like it held. Accuracy has been amazing out of all the Romeos and the Romeo 5 was no exception to this. I think the shining moment for me was when I was testing the CMMG Anvil with a Romeo 5 red dot on top of it. I was initially concerned that the economic red dot would even hold up to the massive recoil of the 458 SOCOM. And if it did do that, I was worried that the dot wouldn't be able to hold zero under that recoil. I knew that CMMG rifles are exceptionally accurate. We were using top-notch ammo from Black Butterfly and SBR ammunition, but I was very concerned that the Romeo 5 wouldn't be up to the challenge. But the Romeo 5 amazed me. Not only did it hold up to the punishment of the 458 SOCOM, but we shot some absolutely amazing groups with just this dot and a three power magnifier. So the success with the anvil gave me some hope for the next test, but this is where I think my Romeo 5 will meet its end, impact testing. So what I'm going to do here is throw the Romeo 5 into the air approximately 10 to 15 feet and just let it hit the ground. Uh, 
I'm going to do this a series of 10 times and see what the damage is. And in all honesty, I think that this test will be the end of my budget-friendly site. But just in case it is still working after this, I'm going to put the lens covers on it so I can continue to use it if it is still working. I was quite impressed that the Romeo 5 held up to all that abuse, and on top of that, held zero. I knew that I liked the Romeo 5, but now that I know it will hold up to all this, I like it even more. Still on. It's pretty highly circulated on the interwebs that SIG red dots are being made by Holusan, which is another quality, budget-friendly optic. I couldn't find anything to definitively confirm or deny this claim, and in my opinion, I really don't care. I just really like the idea of getting a top-notch optic at a price I can live with, and in all honesty, I kind of like the fact that it says SIG Sour on the side of it. So at this point, I'm pleasantly surprised at how well the Romeo 5 has held up, and I would be content to leave it right here and call it a huge success. But there is one more test that I've seen an aim point take, and that is a blast from a shotgun. I really didn't want to do this, because as of right now, I still have a working optic, but with some arm twisting and a little peer pressure, I got talked into it. Plus we were getting some footage for the upcoming Fostec Origin 12 video and I couldn't think of a better shotgun to take the Romeo out with. Time to say goodbye to the Romeo 5. Alright, so so far we have done a water test, we froze the SIG Romeo 5, uh, we did a drop test, pretty extensive drop test, and so far the thing is still dead on, um, working just fine. So now I'm going to take my Fostec Origin 12 and run one shot of seven and a half at it at about about 15 yards and we'll see what that does All right, we just shot it with a seven and a half shot. I mean, you can obviously tell it got peppered. Um, I'm gonna take this little bit lens cover off here. It is still working. I can't believe that. Let's see if I can. Yeah, I kind of thought it would pass all the other tests. I didn't think it would take a shot with the blast. Well, anyway, we're gonna put this back on the rifle, see if it's still zeroed. All right, just got our SIG Romeo 5 mounted back up after being shot with a shotgun. I'm gonna put uh, 10 rounds downrange on my X-Steel Targets popper with the ACR. I'd say it's still zeroed. If it's not zeroed, it's pretty darn close.
right, well, y'all just saw that. The uh, SIG Romeo 5, super impressed with this budget-friendly optic. Uh, we did a splash test, we did a submersion test, we froze it, impact test, and we shot it with a shotgun, and the thing is still working, and still zeroed, and I'm still using it on my ACR. Very, very impressed with this optic. Uh, what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna roll in some footage. We kind of blew the paint off of it, but um, I'm gonna, you can see the residue of where it was. I'm gonna roll some footage into that right now so you can see that this is the same optic we used through the entire test. Um, if you wanna get your own SIG Romeo 5, I'm gonna put a link down in the description. If you like the video, please hit the like button. It helps us out a lot. Please subscribe to the channel. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram to find out what videos are coming up next and projects we're currently working on. And stay tuned for the next video. Thanks for watching.